All right, we are back at it again with another, with the part two, I guess. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to see how uh, expansive this game is. I heard it's uh, the best one. Yeah. Analyzation process complete. Real school four. The fourth ones are always the best. Hallway. Click, click, click. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> Voice reveal for uh, one Mr. Phil Eggtree. What a name. <laughs> what the Phil part? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 Phil. Yeah. What a the weird Phil name, part. What a Phil. name, Phil. <laughs> the school was built above a long pit of lava that he himself dug near an active underwater volcano. His plan to murder Phil Eggtree to forever rid him of this world succeeded. Also, who was that guy? The teacher. <laughs> and no one cared. They probably said his name, like, in the first part. <laughs> we were too busy making fun of Phil's name. <laughs> Every other student of Riddle University eventually died from car wrecks, old age, and unforeseen disasters. Very bold way to end the series. Each one on their deathbed whispered their final wish. Please don't let there be any more Riddle School games. Well, uh, this was fun, but uh, I guess it's uh, the end of the video now, so... Uh... Yeah. At least, like, he, you know, finishes, like, an overarching story and kind mm -hmm. of ties everything together. I thought this was, like, an April Fool's game, though. And this was supposed to be the original ending. Oh. It was kind of like FNAF 3, but at least like with this one, it's... It, this one's a joke. I'm kind of like a... Like F you. Yeah. Is that's why it was like, oh, he died, everyone else died, and their last dying breath was saying, don't make another one. <laughs> Ninja fan. I wonder who who are these people and like where they are today. It says, every book has a start and a finish. A series must have a beginning and an end. I do really sucks all the room for another sequel out of the series so that it too may end John bro oh well too bad he made like two more so three seconds new three, record three seconds in the cage anyways uh yay back to main menu special features ooh uh that's a lot of reading well it's all like decanonized then pretty much it's all like non-canon wait who's the teacher Mr. Munch was it really Mr. Munch? Gender, oh, no. male, favorite thing, murdering people. Least favorite thing, people. What a guy. Anyways, uh, to the next real school game. Here we go. I said, here we go. Quit Quake quitting. quitting. I mean, you get to actually like escape. I'm not allowed to quit. Real school five. The real real school four, actually, but you oh, know. Yeah. Technically, this is four. Yeah, because this actually continues the story. Well, everyone, it seems soon our dreams will become reality. Just as all of our prisoners' realities have become dreams, we all know our new prisoners were taken from Brittle School Elementary. Enlighten our listeners as to the reason we're here already. I was getting to that part, Viz. This meeting is primarily to discuss these human suspects and their new dreams. Their behavior, after all, is why and how we are going through with our plan. Yes, because evildoers deserve nothing more than the taste of their own evil. Evil! Fred, male. This is Fred. We can read the caption next to the corner, Diz. I'm enlightening everyone, just like you said. Yeah, for the people who uh, are blind, who are visually impaired. Yeah, what if? Red text box. <laughs> Shake my head. I, SMH guys, SMH. Fred kind of sucks, guys. Fred, in his dreams, does as close to nothing as he can manage. Of the prisoners we have, he seems to be the least useful right now. Damn. Oh. Smiley, female. Smiley smiles consistently within her dream. Uh, we've tried to find intended flaws in her ways, not yet to any avail. If one human is proven to be scum, the rest are no cleaner. Her face is nothing but a cover for her ugly desires. 
Dang. Zach, male. Zach here was shivering long before he was abducted from that school. It seems impossible that uh, he would be so ongoingly chilly. There is a chance that by looking into his unusual conditions... We could empower a weapon capable of freezing that pathetic planet Earth. Hmm. I could have sworn I was the one telling the presentation. Phil, the MC. And here we have the reason for our master plan. Had we not witnessed uh, first-hand Phil escaping from a school, Earth would not have become our first target of destruction. Uh, Diz, I can't remember what the plan is exactly. Quiz, you're completely useless. Well, I can clarify. With the knowledge we receive from these three dream captives, it's planned we completely freeze their homeworld planet Earth. This procedure is to be repeated to other wrongdoing planets. Hey, why isn't that transmitter turned off? Is one of our subjects here- what? Okay, I'm gonna start over. One of what if one of our subjects hears? Sorry, I didn't even know it was on. It'll be turned off in a sec. John Bo presents. Yeah, I don't really like reading that much because yeah. I have to take time. And I actually have to read. Yeah. Because I played <laughs> um, GTA Chinatown Wars on my iPad because it's on mobile. And the thing is, like, you know how, like, in this game where you click, like, the next text box? Yeah. It's, it's timed. It's like an actual cutscene oh, where place. you have to like read fast before it goes away. <laughs> Anyways. On a much higher budget of $12 instead of three. We're to school five. I don't think I can open that door. It's barred and has no doorknob. That probably means it's remote activated from the other side. Check the bed. Well, all right then. I'd uh, just take this for a quarter if it wasn't the monster picture on it. Why are you talking like Joe? I don't know. Joe it kinda Swanson. Happened. It just kind of happened. I do be like that. Well, that was easy. Pick, yeah, I picked the screws. It's weird, weird how like Among Us has been like cemented in like <laughs> culture. Never. Ever like seen. even when you say like Among, like just the word Among, or like vent. It's just instantly Among Us. <laughs> I've decided I don't want to do that again. Yeah, because he doesn't want to bring out the, uh, memes again. I'm glad this came out, like, before Among Us became popular. <laughs> okay, why is there a pea shooter right there? There's a button on this duck statue. That's a duck? That's a weird-looking duck. That's- that's one strength. <laughs> uh, on this duck statue thing, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Should I do this, or should I keep looking around? I remember playing this, and this is actually like the hardest part. Yeah. I'll uh, just try. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got one. <laughs> Yay, one. One. Not even one, it was the zero. Yeah. Get it. Ah. No. Actually, please explain. Well, the combination requires the zero. You did the combination right to get the zero when you said we got one, meaning we got one of the numbers correct. But I jokingly said we got one, but not the one, because one of the numbers is one. We got the zero number. Hence the joke. Okay. <laughs> I think only there's like one other time we have to do this. <clears throat> four! Four! Oh well, shit, okay. Seven. <clears throat> oh you did. Shit, I didn't even notice. I gotta like write as you started to look at me. <laughs> it's like, I'm just kind of like looking at you do this, but like, I'm just like, my, like I'm not like, are you like thinking about having to do this? Or are you no. just randomly clicking? I was until I gave up and then started randomly clicking. Because like, I'm just like, just looking blindly. I'm looking, but I'm not like registering like what's happening. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Well, we got right. that over with. Oh, this thing works now. That's it. Whoa! Out of sight, out of mind. Oh, hello. What the hell's that thing? <laughs> it looks kind of cute, actually. No, it doesn't. Wouldn't their right mind would say that? This room has a pit of acid. Really? They were Fat. lying. Steak might uh, come in handy if I could only get without being covered in acid. Well, let's go down, I guess. 
Wonder who's, I wonder who's in here. Oh boy. Indoor. Oh wow. Did you know that? Yeah. Flower room. Whoa. This plant not immediately dying, so I'll take it. I guess the flowers get their solar energy from this miniature star. Imagine having a just like a miniature <laughs> just star. Like right the sun. Selecting a star. Like a little mini sun. Why did the mute cat cross the street? I don't know, it didn't say. Chuck, 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 the ruffle. Dude, this is so funny, like, fire my laser. Yeah. Remember dude. that? Remember that? Like, ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, Fred Ficklehorn. Like transfer machine, to properly transfer life from a living thing to a dead animal, it's easy as one, two, three. Here you read. Number one, put a living thing where the round arrow sign indicates. Number two, put a dead animal where the other big arrow sign indicates. Number three, press the arrow in the middle of the machine. Also note that the living thing dies when the dead animal comes to life. The bolts right there. Uh, like actually among us right now. No way. All right, we just need one more. We need a screw, give me a screw. Look under his bed. Yep, screw. What does the sign say? Thanks, Zach. Remember to feed Oswald the monster. He only eats live meat. Knit with living meat. Oh, I almost forgot. He doesn't eat what he can't smell. So find food with an aroma and put it where smell can easily spread. Knit with no escape. escape pods. I usually find uh, the best channel on TV to be the static one with static. It's awfully tempting to just fly right out of here, the, uh, right out of this place. But I think my friends would like me more if I stayed, if I saved all my, all of them first. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Stupid morals. Here. That was simply a fail. Put in that one clip of uh, Better Call Saul. It lives with feet. It's uh, adorable. We're defying nature. All right. We're defying the laws of God and nature. <laughs> All yeah. right. Radical. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I go out and then invisible? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm glad check how he waited until I pressed the button. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I'm afraid dinner is, to go is not an option for you anymore. Uh, enter the... I could be wrong, <laughs> but this looks important. Enter the church of dream in the chair in the next room. Their dreams will only end when in them... They meet Doom. Slayer? From Fortnite? Something's no clicking in my head. I do fill egg tree for Fortnite. Yes. My friends are physically protected by barriers. Because of this, I can't directly wake them up. However, my dream that went on into college stopped when I was killed. The dreams will only end when and then they meet the me Doom Slayer from Fortnite. Which means, in order for me to save my friends, uh, I, I didn't know he was in college in four. I thought he was in high school. He was a pretty tall lad. Yeah, but I thought he was like high school. He was like, high school he was in was, elementary uh, in the first one. High school was three, I think. I reckon, I suppose, with Mr. Soggy. I don't, I don't remember. I have to kill them from within their dreams. All oh, right. Radical! What's happening? Radical! Accessing, analyzing map system. Riddle School 2. Zach's dream. Is that who? You have to push him over or something? Like, could you? No, nah, probably not. I was like, could you, like, go out into, like, the hallway and stuff? And I was like, no, nah, I'd probably be like, no, nah, I have to do this first. Yeah, this is high school. Riddle School. Smiley stream. Now you just use the rubber band to knock. I remember. I remember. Really? Yeah, I do. No way. Yes way. Oh no! Soggy's glasses fell onto the floor. 
It sure is too bad he can't teach with the without them on. <gasps> the way she fell, she definitely would have like fallen on that spike. Not really. Real school four. Fred's dream. Fred never had a seat in this classroom. So how is this his dream? Hey Phil. Hey Phil. <laughs> is this Mr. McMaster's room? Wow. McMaster. Yes. Cool. I just wanted to make sure I didn't get killed or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey Fred. What's up? Would you like to wear my sweatshirt? I think the sweatshirt one's the right one. Uh, your sweatshirt is quite nice, but I actually think it's sort of hot in here, so I have to turn up the temp. Hey, it could just be you. That or there's a pit of lava below the classroom. Uh, uh, I have to see this Description first. of Phil, a tree given to me. To me. Bowed. Looks like dish. <laughs> He's like a circle on two black dots. Always wears green. He needs to sit in the desk closest to the door so I can kill him. Phil's desk. My desk. I was this guy a teacher? I was this guy an assassin? Because he's not a teacher, he's trying to kill oh, okay. Phil. So, like, how is this kid, like, not kid, this guy? There we go. The room is now relatively cold. Hey, hey Fred. Fred. What's up? It's just, he just turns into moist purple. Oh, uh, I guess it is a little cold in here. And your sweatshirt does look comfy. All right, hand it over. <laughs> Few okay. minutes later. Oh, he has a new ground shirt. Bruh. Bruh. No way. <laughs> he has a pretty deep voice. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even sound like a like a college kid. He sounds like a, like a an old man. All right, boys. Let's go wake up our friend. Wake up. Wake up. No, 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 wake up. Ah, Zach, you're awake. I th th thought I died b because suddenly I felt c cold. I thought you were always cold, Zach. I, I mean, like, really c cold. Well, that doesn't matter now. We're in the space station. We're in a space station. I can't explain everything, but there's a, an escape pods downstairs. Oh, r really? I, I guess I'll get going. Smiley, do you have any idea where we are? All I can say is, I think I just woke up from a really long dream. Sort of. We're subjects of mind altering from what I've gathered. Oh yeah, and we're also not on Earth anymore, but that can be fixed. There are escape pods uh, on the bottom floor of this facility. Well, that's something to smile about. I guess I'll see you on Earth. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> Fred. Hey, Fred. Uh, hi. I don't know what's going on, do you? I I know some things about altered dreams, but let's skip that part. We are in some facility in space that's close to Earth. Conveniently for us, there are escape pods on the bottom floor for this escape, for this place. I knew it. You always you always figure everything out before anyone else does. This is pretty a uh, big chunk of some of you. <laughs> well, thanks for the info. It'll be great to be somewhere familiar. I'm gonna go watch some more more moist critical. I'm gonna watch more me. <laughs> I'm gonna watch more moist critical. I just realized that we just compared Fred to like two different YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. It started to go from like a Patrick Star kind of like <laughs> speech to just kind of devolve into, hey guys, me, huh? Moist Critical. That's pretty butt chungus of you. Oh no. I thought it was over. This is a bit unnerving. Marvelous, isn't it? He's immune to lava. <laughs> I am Viz, decider of your world's fate. 
Uh, nice to meet you. What exactly is going on here? Why don't you ask that cowardly traitor over there? I'll be taking this, thanks. Dang. <laughs> He's like Springtrap. Yeah. He just teleports. So, cowardly traitor, what exactly is going on here? I'm a traitor, but not to you. Wait, you kind of voice them. You I, uh, I, I do. My name is Diz. Diz? I recognize that, I recognize that name. Viz, too. Were you in the meeting in the transmission before I woke up from my dream? None of this will make sense unless I start from the very beginning. Oh boy. It all started with nothing. Blackness. And then, guy created light. Or, uh, some people say, the Big Bang. And then he just, like, he just goes through, like, the entire, <laughs> all like, of all the, like, history of, like, everything. It began with Vision. From Marvel. Like, you know. Marvel. Vision was a, uh, project starter by our leader, Viz. The one you just saw. He felt it was his duty to decide the fate of every planet in the universe. The ego in this man. His plan, his planet by planet journey began with your planet Earth. How convenient. Nobody was in agreement to his plan, of course, but we are under his rule. He gave his minions one chance to prove Earth wasn't worth embracing. We built a local time-stopping mine and set it outside of an Earth school. As it would turn out, the school was Riddle Elementary School where you were. Our hope was that nobody would escape from the school. Bruh. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> that day was the very same day you left the school early. Time throughout Earth stopped and Viz was convinced Earth had evil intent. I mean, just from a kid walking yeah, out of little school. Rinky it's like an elementary school, so not yeah. even like a like little kid. Like he's some little wise kid. He ordered us to abduct you and your friends before restoring Earth's time. Viz had a plan to use your evils and powers against you to destroy Earth. We had to look into the your minds, hence the i the idea of giving you altered dreams. We even changed your clothes a few times to see if that affected your thoughts. Where does you, your being, being a traitor come into the equation? Death was the only thing that could separate you from your dream. Alterations to dreams can be easily detected by just about anyone. So I could only wake you up if I killed you in your dream. After all, death is the only thing uh, that could wake any of you up. Sweet, sweet it is. I did not uh, go unseen, however. It was only a matter of time before I was found out. I went the full mile and altered the mind of Mr. Munch, your last dream teacher. I sat behind you and watched the execution to be sure everything went well. That is why you didn't see me when you went to the same room in Fred's dream. By that time, I was where I am standing now, and now he's taking Zack's freezing jeans to power up a giant laser. Fire my laser! I've only been trying to help you so you could uh, save your friends. Good job. <laughs> is that the laser charging? Yes, Phil. And he's gonna say, and it's gonna be fire in the laser soon. No. <laughs> if nothing is done, your world will be solid ice. ice. Ice? Ice? Not cool. Sorry, Diz. The window view is reserved for children. For the children. For the children. The children. I'm so sorry I ran out of cages to trap you and your friends in. You'll still enjoy the show, won't you? Somehow, I really doubt that. I'm sure it will be an unforgettable spectacle. This month. Which is why I plan to <laughs> watch it on my own ship without distractions. Prepare yourself for the grand finale. Mmm. I'm sorry, sir, but we saw like one more game, so. Mmm. Grand finale, mm. not so much.
I don't know. Mm, try again. Mm, sorry. It's a fast spaceship. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's the same one. Oh boy. Yeah. Again. W or L music? <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's like an adventure. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's instead too of like happy go lucky adventure. Rather than like, oh shit, I need to save the Earth from being frozen over by an even a evil alien. One guy. Four, I got four, never mind. Hey. One. <gasps> okay, we're getting close, we're getting close. Yes. Yeah, baby. Finally. Thank you. Whoops. Twice. Oh, shit. Give me. Give me hat. Ultra toothpaste. Whoa. There. Okay. Sounded like a Minecraft sound effect. <laughs> Do I have anything I could use? to piece the shards together. The glue. Uh, no. Mm, try again. Er, yeah. Hot lava java. Coming right up. It's amazing this mug. Uh, I watched break and hold lava without melting. Indeed. What was this? Is it that easy? Yes, it is. Hmm. Oh, there we go. That's more like clues. Ship wheel. Ugh. <laughs> Imagine having a ship of your face. I don't think I could do that. Soon this planet will be covered in a coat of ice. Peter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because evildoers deserve a taste of their own evil. How ironic. How ironic. Tell me, Batman, what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! Put in that clip. Amazing! You saved the Earth and disposed of our wretched re leader simultaneously with the Nene. Did you say, I thought you said Russian for a second. <laughs> Russian. <laughs> Russian. Wretched. I managed to escape with this uh, remote I found that used to be Viz's. Maybe I can use this remote to free your friends. Well, give it a go, it's worth a shot. It kills them. The ship will self-destruct in five, four, three, two, one. It launches his friends into space while they suffocate and die. I'm pretty sure I know how to drive the ship uh, we're in. Do you mean eject? Ding, 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 ding. You all be back to your homes before you know it. Oh, I'm not cold anymore. This feels amazing. I may have learned something from this experience. Friends really can come from anywhere. Even space. All my life, I've been <laughs> devoted to doing as little as possible. Uh, witnessing everything Phil has done helped me realize even a world as big as ours can be affected by what one person does. This is quite the most critical. I guess <laughs> I should say I learned a lot from this experience. Wacky. A wonky slosh. Stay in school. Or else you'll endanger the whole earth.
special thanks to 655301. <laughs> Big Mike. Creamy. I remember like it was like uh, something E, cream E, cook E. Oh my gosh, you're that, right. Yeah, is that, so, is that is supposed to be a reference? Maybe. Shark. Big letters. This is definitely a new grounds certified. Hood classic. Hood classic. <laughs> wow, even in uh, Dessa seconds, which I didn't knew existed. Just one more second. <laughs> one more second. <laughs> one more Dessa second. <laughs> one more Dessa second. Anyways. Yee. Uh, Let's go six. No way. No way. No way. Really? Really? Is that actually most critical? <laughs> in my video? Is that actually most critical? In my video? Oh no, our table. Oh my god. <laughs> it's broken. All right. What the what? hell? Intro. Damn. New grams. All right, riddle transfer. Let's go. Budget. Diz stereotypical alien. Well, now that your world is saved and our sadistic leader Viz is gone from the universe. What do y'all plan to accomplish when you return to life on Earth? Zach, human fireplace. Uh, personally, I plan to find a cure for this fever I've developed. Drinking a couple thousand gallons of ice water might help a little. A fever? Dude, he has COVID. He's dying. He's actually dying. Smiley, I'll continue my research for knowledge and use what I know to help others. Lame. See, that's the basic answer. Reading this, reading the encyclopedia might be fun. Lame. You go for it. Fred. <laughs> Here's Fred. Fred helping hand. I've really, I haven't really thought about what I'll do when I get back. I guess what I'll do when I get back is think of what I'll do when I get back. Probably watch some moist critical videos. Phil, stalwart leader. As for me... Huh? What's going on? Why are we stopped? Something is controlling the ship. It's taking us off course. Zone 5.1. Oh no. What are we going to do? A perfect circle. Damn. Here we go again. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Well, I was hoping for a new beginning. I just didn't think it would look like this. Ooh, Twilight Zone type shit. Uh, can I throw a monkey at you? Right there. Yeah, seven, eight, two, five, five. That was easy. Today is Zone 5.1 Guard Agent's Annual Day Off. 14. Nah, that's why I'm lucky. Yeah. This thing says Creature Communicator on these on the side. Uh, this sounds potentially useful. Hey, goat guy. Hello, what's up? Here you get ready for the goat. I'm sad. Grass is my favorite thing to eat in the whole world, but this grass tastes so bland. It isn't anything like the grass I used to eat. It's enough grass to last a lifetime, sure, but what's the point if it doesn't taste like grass? You just say grass five times. Anyways, I really can't relate to your problem, but I'd like to help out. Let's go to three. Hi, Zach. Yeah. How are you today? I'm a little tied up at the moment. Not a whole lot I can do. You have to burn the rope. I've tried that. The flames on my head just don't reach the rope. Keep trying. You're on fire. Joy. Uh, why are you strapped to a curtain pole? The guys who put me in here decided I was literally too hot for them to handle. Basically, I've been rendered helpless for safety reasons. What are some fun facts about you that I don't really know? Interesting question. My favorite color is red. I never tie my shoes. I hate playing dodgeball. Pigeons freak me out. And I'm allergic to daisies. Just how allergic? Do you shake up, throw up, perk up, swell up, break up, blow up? Wake up! I just sneezed. Before I got tied to the ceiling, I sneezed once and my whole body burst into flames. 
spontaneous combustion from sneezing. The possibilities with that are endless. Do you know what the code for your cell door is? The code has, oh boy, the code has five digits. The digits are one, two, three, four, five, but not necessarily in that order. The first digit plus the second digit is equal to the third digit. The second digit is two times the first digit. The second digit is half the fourth digit. And the fifth digit is the sum of the first and fourth digits. Am I enjoying this game, Zach? Pretty sure it is. It's just one, one two, two, three, four, four five. five. Out of curiosity, how could you have known what the code was? It was written on this out of the door. Zach has traveled where no man has gone before. He's been on both ends of the thermometer. His last name is Kelvin. Nah, chlorophyll is actually liquefied grass and it never expires. Disgusting. I tried, it's like that one like green shake that uh, Plankton and Mr. Krabs yeah. drink. What was it called? Kel shake or something? Kel shake. Cereal box. It's an analog clock that shows what the time is in all the time zones. Considering it has 12 identical hour hands, I don't see how it's useful. Flying pig. Hey pig. Oh, hello. What's shaking, bacon? Right now, I'm as free as a bird in a bird cage. Can you fly? Can you really fly? I'm not an expert, but I can fly. You run into a lot of things. Uh, where do you, where did you used to live? There's a cloud in the sky that never moves. Atop that inactive cloud is a majestic kingdom of pork top, home to all of the world's flying pigs. Oh, so that's where you live? Actually, no. Uh, Smiley Sunday. Well, uh, hi, Smiley. I'm guessing you want to ask about my hair. Well, yes, yeah, seeing as you didn't have any hair just yesterday. So, why do you have hair? It's not like there's much to do when you're stuck in a little prison cell. So I've used the can of hairspray that's over there to pass the time. I'll admit, I'm a bit nervous about what people were think about think of me now that I have hair. I'm no fashion expert, but I say it looks nice. Well, thanks. We still need to get out, get you out of this prison cell place. If you need anything from me, I guess I'll be here. Oh, no, okay. Uh-oh. Poo classic. <laughs> Caffeine-free diarrhea. Excuse me? <laughs> no energy drink company should sell man-made drinks. Diz is the only one who can fly this ship. I'll have to free him along with all my friends. Big uh -oh. toe. Good day, sir. Meep. Good day, sir. Salutations- Oh, this guy deserves accent. Salutations, young gentlemen. Of what subject shall we speak of this fine day? British man. Are you fond of crumpets? Alas, crumpets are but a faint memory for this old hominid. <laughs> they were treasures to behold when paired with the tea leaves of what once was my forest. It was the day the black garbed men captured me that I sipped my very last spot of tea. Spot of tea? Unjust judgment can be like a depressant of like no other. Okay, uh, how do you do? My apologies, but perhaps could you specify the nature of your inquiry? What are your emotions in this grand scheme of things? I am concerned about unlawful courtrooms and the government's capitalistic stance. The widening hole in the ozone layer frightens me, as well as the limited oil in the Earth's soil. Remind me never to ask you about that again. Some of your intellect surely has a wondrous hobby. I am fascinated by fancy hats. It is my dream to wear a hat that boldly proclaims, I am a fancy hat. Um, might I ask what uh, what the purpose of your smoke detector is? Surely you jest. The walls are almost <laughs> completely coated with wood and vegetation. Oh, I was only wondering if it had any other purposes. I do use it as a dinner plate sometimes. I don't know how these people are, how he's stuck in this room because like, just go out. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> like, there's no like- There's no door. Yeah. So I guess he likes it here. What a weirdo. Hello. Phil. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Phil. <laughs> Fred? It was great to see you got out of wherever you were. I haven't had the same luck with finding my way out of this dump. I really think the people who put us in here just took a bathroom and added an extra wall. Fred Whistler. Whistler. There should be a dial pad, but there's not. I wonder where it could be. I'm never comfortable in bed until I have to get up. Relatable. Try our new deluxe poster glue. Advertising fail. Epic fail. This dude. The negotiable snowman. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. 
What kind of creature are you? My friends call me Yeti. Also, I have no friends. Will you be my friend? I think friends come naturally. I don't just make friends with whoever asks. Be my friend. Whoa, okay then. I, I burn with the fury of 500 million suns. Do you want to talk about it? Actually, no, I'm perfectly content. Can't complain. You're polar and bipolar. I am very sensitive about my bareness. Well, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I don't have any hair myself. Well, that's a nice thing to say, but I don't need comfort. What I need is hair. Damn. Sorry, I just don't have fond memories of when my hair was shaved off. I'd pay you a dye that I found in a board game box if you get me my hair back. Interesting trade. Which board game? It's called Learning to Shave. Terrible game. What's the smoke detector for? So that hotheads won't come in and melt all the ice. I hate hotheads. That's some first class hypocrisy right there. You've got an ice place here. Is that a pun? Yes. Okay. Great. Communicate with you later. See ya. Do you mind keeping your mouth open so I can enter the room you're guarding? Uh, my teeth could turn you into coleslaw before you could get through me. Uh, I'm not the only one who would like to come in though. I plan to bring all my friends here too. Your three human friends. The ones that are trapped. I'd like to see them even get here. That would be worth a laugh. Actually, I get majorly ticked off if that happened. Don't get any bright ideas. Too late. Good day. What do you want? Uh, so, do you go by messy? That's what everybody in the stupid landfill calls me. It's extra frustrating because I can't tell if they're saying my name or calling me a messy animal. Yeah, I guess they could go either way with you. How are you today? I pretty much feel like eating my o my whole body starting with my head. Does that mean you're angry or you're hungry? I'm homesick and I'm sick of my home. This place is a freaking toilet hole for crying out loud. That's not even a metaphor. I sometimes get taken out of it so the agents can flush the water. How, uh, how can you blame them? It's messy water. Bald-headed nuisance kid. Um, where are we? How old are you? I turned 66,145,932 today. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of birthdays. Oh, but my birthdays bite. Nobody ever celebrates them. On my birthday nine years ago, I was stolen and forced to live in this pathetic excuse for a lake. Well, happy birthday. Thanks. I'll be looking forward to spending the rest of my life in this dumpy bathtub. Where did you used to live before you were put in here? Mock mess. <laughs> Mock mess. Mo blah, blah, lake. Here's some card thing an agent dropped one time while feeding me. It says power room on it, so I would assume it opens the door with access to power. But if it's mislabeled and you get crushed into a powder or run over by a mower, don't mind me. Right, I'll keep that in mind, I guess. Rumors have been floating around that you're, that you're just a log. You know that photograph of me has been taken, has been blown out of proportion. The black and white one? It really is just a picture of a log. Can I have your hat? Uh, no. My hat is the only comfort I have. Not to mention it covers my bald spot. Hmm. Can make it with you later. Beat it, bowling ball brain. <laughs> All right, well, we got the key card, so. Oh yeah, we got that too. Uh, why do I want this? I don't even know. Card swipe. All right. Oh, it's uh, Mr. Potato's game. Pipelines. Oh no. This might take a while. Wait, wait, yes, yes, yes. Freaking finally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get flushed. Get flushed. Damn. Damn. <sighs> Here, hook up the um hose. For a fill. I think this Daisy lacks the proper decorative flair that would make this hat look fancier. Hello. I have mixed feelings about that escape. You're welcome. Take it. Thank you. Yes. Hey, Fred. Yep. 
Do you know the code for your dab pad is? Snows. What? Pretty sure I saw the password is snows. Here, maybe it, something to you. Two zero seven one five five one seven zero two. Maybe. Oh there my we go. gosh. Who writes the one in a seven, seven that damn close? That close. Cool. What no? Oh, hey, could, could I have your hairspray? Down there. Down. Here it is. Are you planning on growing hair? Oh no, I like being bald. I just think the hairspray will help us escape. Ew. Die. Die. Uh, my friends seem to have accidentally stumbled out of their heavily secured confinement cells. We were hoping to have a picnic in the room behind you, care to let us in. Wait, all of you escaped? Seriously? A roar 001, that is something I cannot comprehend. Error 002, I wish you all a happy new year. Error 003, 0001001001. Uh, Error 004, psychotic frenzy.exe. <laughs> Berserker. Is. Mm, which contraption? Oh no, dude. You know what this is just like? A virus? No. I mean, I guess. But like, uh, times attacks. Gosh, oh shit! Really? Contraption. Oh, at least I can do this one. That one, like, I don't know why it fuzzled my mind. All right, nice. It looks like everyone is here, and I counted four. Let's get the freak out of here, please. Wait, just wait up! I'm sorry, but there's no time! You will have to find another exit! Holy shit, he's really leaving us. <laughs> See ya, nerds. We, I mean, we could have had time to run. Just a, this way. If we ran as fast as him. Yeah. Uh. Aha. Uh -huh. No way. Riddle of transfer. And new, and part, new part one? one? Well. You beat the game in 3214 3, seconds. On to part two. Riddle transfer two. Look at the freaking graphics. Whoa, the graphics, no way. You're so crazy. Uh, completely useless. Oh, they'll see. They'll all see how much worth I have in the sewers. Haha, <laughs> it didn't work. Riddle transfer two. This does not look like 2016. Nope. You was here. What? Ew, what? I mean, uh, nope. Alright. Card. Oh, hey, we still have it. This is the second time in a row I've conveniently had a machine empowering doodad in hand. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey. Oh, 4003. Oh no. Ah, oh, dude, this one sucks balls. <laughs> Whoa. No way. Now, where'd you get that newspaper? Whoa. Uh, Look at that. Look at that. Look at how far we've come. So, who's ready to repeat an entire decade of school? <laughs> Actual torture. <laughs> I was reborn ready. That's you. I was there, there goes my rhetorical question. Class, why have you been absent for the past several days? We were abducted by aliens. 
Then we got kidnapped by secret agents. We had to use the teleporter to get back to class. Yeah, yeah, I've heard those before. So what really happened? Why couldn't we have been in a more convincing sounding double abduction? Well, I've made sure you have time to do your makeup work. I've decided I'm not going to be having a quiz this week. Gee, that's amazing. Actually, I believe you are. What? What the hell? <laughs> I am Quiz, the new face of vision. Bruh. Oh, I remember you. You were the blue text in that one cutscene. <laughs> hey, Egghead. Thanks for rubbing out my boss. Pause. I think you need to reword that. Also, he has the nerve to call him Egghead. Look at this man right what here. What the heck? I am become Quiz. What? Judge of all worlds. I am become. <laughs> and headmaster of the silly building. Silly building. Silly building. <laughs> I guess stopping cliche supervillains is my life now. Do we still have to do that makeup work, Miss Kofi? Coffee? So, Miss Coffee, what do you think about all this? I could really go for a cup of coffee. No mow. Chololo. Oh, look at you. I'm not looking forward to this. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Females, boy! What's it gonna be? What the heck? Ohio. <laughs> what in the flowza? Benson. Sorry, Benson, but we have to kill you. Uh, I've never been in a woman's room before today, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is not what most of them look like. Richie, you have been replaced. <laughs> yeah, for the hall monitor <laughs> shit. The sun reads any human DNA detect, uh, detected passing through the red lasers will be shot. This is Special calm. class for the insane. <laughs> Rishi! Rishi, it feels like I haven't seen you in forever. Uh, hi. Have we met? You don't remember stopping me in the hallway before I showed you my hall pass? Of course not. Who'd remember something as small as that? In that case, let's start over. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Phil Eggtree. That's probably the dumbest name I've ever heard. How's life besides being unable to leave? <laughs> You're definitely <laughs> shot. Average day in American school, <laughs> to be honest. My, te my teachers didn't like me ditching my post as hall monitor, so now I'm in a special class. Uh, do you click buttons per chance? What kind of dork collects buttons? And what kind of dork says per chance? You know, dude, I hope you get shot. <laughs> Leave your desk. <laughs> yeah. You just like nab him and then just like rip him off of his desk so he gets shot. Uh, call it a hunch, but I bet you'll change your mind by the time we're in high school. I've got some Elmo's glue. <laughs> I'll take it. Whoa, dude. I'm not just gonna give you <laughs> the only thing I remembered to bring to school. One dollar. Then I'll trust you. Breadcrumbs? It's beaver spit. You're so random, man. <laughs> Lamau. XD, XD, XD. <laughs> it's amazing how all my teachers were. Right in perfect comic sans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look who it is. Hey, Chubb. Mm -hmm. uh, I like fat jokes, but I'm sorry for calling you fatty. It was out of line. Oh, yeah, you should be sorry for that one. But I'm not. It wasn't witty. You can come up with better material than that, bald eagle. Damn. I like the way you think, Earthquake Generator. Uh, now that's better. Cookies! There's no cookies! The cookie machine's still broken. Death will become all of us. Alright, I'll trade you my glue stick. Take care of it. Wait, why do we need the glue stick? That's a good question. <laughs> no worries, this bottle and I will stick together like glue. Please, never say that ever again. Shut up, Richie. No one likes you. Who asked? Maybe we need to give the glue to... I don't know. Let me know if this is awkward. Oh, don't worry. It's definitely awkward. Okay. Take. Take. Just chugged a whole bucket of coffee. Gumbo. Amazing world of combo. Dang. That guy can move. I need to speak to, with your master. He told me you didn't want to speak with him, and I take his word over yours. 
Oi, Oi. Ain't... <laughs> Oi, it ain't easy having no eyelid. Eye drops keep me comfortable. But you can't small solve the math equations in this feeble earthling textbook. Oh, it's on. It's like a math playboy. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Uh, okay, now we have to go to Miss Coffee. Dang. Okay, now you glue it back. Aha! Aha! Okay, we're getting somewhere, getting somewhere. These problems, that is to you. These problems are child's play. Do you want your book back? I'm ready for your silly human math any day of the week. Uh, hey, doesn't your eye feel dry right now? Now that you mention it, I guess it won't hurt to moisten it up. <sighs> also, Poor guy. The, the seam is gone. Poor male. Alright. Hello! Yeah, I just spawned here. How did you get in here? <laughs> Through the door? Dude, I'm busy, like, dominating your entire stupid planet. You call putting some turrets in an elementary school dominating the planet? Quiz, I like to propose. A quiz. I'll ask you some questions and you don't have to answer them for me. Just give me a few answers to choose from and I'll take the guess which is right. You'll fail this quiz faster than your buddy Diz left you behind to die. After a visit's death, who was the first subordinate eligible to take his place? Was it Diz or... I think it may have been. I think, yeah. Though I kind of want to say, angry. Diz, he was second in command. He'd be calling the shots. What was Viz's opinion of you? Useless. Useless. Useless? What do you mean useless? Why you? How many of Viz's lackeys did he allow to use his data and technology regarding vision? Well, I mean, it's just like Diz, Quiz, and Viz know about it, so... Only the top dogs had any idea what Viz was doing. I knew, Diz knew, that's about it. You said a minute ago, you'll fail this quiz faster than your buddy Diz left you behind to die. How could you have known about that? Wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Can I skip this one? <laughs> dun dun. Explain Q. That makes the cues. Cues. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. I, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the final question. Zone 5.1, the place where my friends and I were trapped. Who owns that place? Oh. I guess this quiz just can't became fill in the blank. Ooh, swag. Three leading figures of Vision were Viz, Diz, and you, Quiz. Diz was uh, second in command, and you were third because Viz considered you a useless underling. So, as such, Viz only shared the nitty-gritty details of his plans with Diz. So, when Viz was cut out of the picture, in that moment, Diz was technically in charge of the fate of Vision. But if Diz decided to put an end to the project, you will you would never inherit the powerful top spot. You needed to eliminate Diz fast, but not without learning all the project's secrets. That's where Zone 5.1 comes in. Zone 5.1 has a machine that can read minds and translate it into data. If you could get Diz in that machine, you could extract all the necessary data and keep Diz at bay. This was an easy task because Vision owns Zone 5.1. Television. <gasps> what? This place even uses vision CV screens. Zone 5.1 isn't just a place to research rare animals, it's a testing ground where Viz observed humans. But one thing got in the way of your plan to steal Diz's newly inherited throne. Me. The machine never got all the data you needed to reign over the cosmos. And now you're here, hopelessly lost in your quest to be a true leader. L. Sad. It's true. I'm no leader. I even let you walk all over me with that whole quizzing idea. There's still time to do what's right, Quiz. Just let my friends and the school free. You can have the rest of the Earth. You're right. You humans can be smarter and wiser than I gave you credit for. 
Oh, that accidentally set off the bomb to the whole earth. Boom. All security measures are now online. After I return to my home base, I'll put an end to this vision nonsense myself. You've opened my eyes. It is up to the civilizations of the universe to judge themselves. Thank you, Egghead. Sorry, Eggtree. Fid Eggtree. Stay classy, Quiz. Go and make peace like a true leader. Oh. Could that be? Oh no. A joy of joys! This doomsday device can use ice from comets as fuel. Finally, nothing is standing in my way. Not Viz, not Quiz, not those meddling kids. Was it Dr. Seuss? <laughs> no, now vision is my vision. No more beating around the bush with that Jar's the Planet's garbage. Just pure cathartic destruction of all civilizations in sight. Diz is up there. It must be him. Take me up there in your ship quiz. I'll do what I have to do to stop him. Does this mean you have a plan? Always. No. Got nothing. <laughs> but we have no choice but to try. Can we just like nuke it? Can yeah. like the president just send like a nuke? Yeah, just like You're right. I'll take you closer to the light. To the light. Before I go, smiling. Paul. I used to tease you a lot because you didn't because I didn't understand you. But now I realize you're a true role model for me. And you have a beautiful smile. Oh sweet. This came out of nowhere. Yeah, it kinda of did. It kinda of, yeah, it just kinda of like oh. Okay. <laughs> that was the thing. But whatever. Time to stop the plan from being destroyed. I've never tried to use this shuttle for combat before, so... Wait a... Ooh, what am I dying? <laughs> Wait well, a, like, geez, zoom in, take. like... <laughs> You're, like, in the middle. Go to it, like, <laughs> straight on. Uh, it's up to you to find something we can use to fight that ship. Uh, glue stick. <laughs> Just glue <it> shut. <laughs> that laser, uh is blocking the shot with this space shuttle would only be temporary and fatal solution. Escape pod. Ooh. More puzzles. Oh no. Hey! Yes. Look at this dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dude. Careful Spongebob. Careful Spongebob. Careful Spongebob. Careful Spongebob! Patrick, the lid's already open. Oh, okay. Now it's my turn. Medieval axe. <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. It. Holy shit. Alright, okay, so that panel. A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. E, A, C, 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 A. A. E, A, C, C, A. Hey. Hey. Alright, now unlock. Self-destruct. What is what? What is that? I th I would have thought you had some ammunition in this this fancy spacecraft. Isn't there anything else? What? <gasps> Take the escape pod. Oh, so it's not like immediate. But but here's only room for one of us in that escape pod, Phil. This clock is ticking. I will finish this. Go ahead. Be with your friends on Earth. No. It's over. It's over. No. Too bad. So sad. Huh. Eat like child size. <laughs> Conveniently child size. Yeah, Quiz couldn't fit in there. Smile. Smile. This so, is, is this the first time we're seeing his mouth? Yeah. I don't like that. Muscle man. <laughs> Did 
down. Jack Seven Guys Seven Dust. Dude, we're gonna be in there. Yeah, definitely. We were the other YouTubers. Uh huh. This us. Scott Colton. Oh, that's Zach. Ew. He's got hair now. Telltale Games for keeping the point and click genre game alive. It's the end of Riddle School. Yeah, that's uh, what a series. Damn good series. A like, very like a really classic one that feels like a lot of people forgot about. Yeah, it rose up from being like a rinky dink flash game to like a full on story. Story. Happy tenth anniversary. Now it's like what twelve, thirteen. Well, twenty sixteen was like what plus four. Well, I end. Old. You're old. Just you're like old. You're old. You're old. You're old. This game is old. So are you. So are we. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Anyways, well, uh, that's that. Um, hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Hit with a like. Please subscribe. Uh, hit with a favorite. Uh, share. Reblog it, you know. Share with Post all your on friends MySpace. on MySpace. Um, it quit the game this time. <gasps> the way.